morning, good evening, good afternoon, folks. This is Joyce. Joyce, all knowing to roll. I got a lot of light in my eye. I'm in the midst of cleaning house, so I have my I have a big picture window over here, over there, and so I have the curtains off, and then I have a big liver, uh, kitchen dining room picture window too. So it's kind of lit up, but I still wanted to come and give you guys a video. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. That is my day. Even though, you know, since we're in the house, it seems like almost every day is Friday. But, you know, it's the day we go and get things done and all that kind of stuff. We clean on this day and then we clean on Saturday, too. It depends on the mood, but it's usually Saturdays. Anyways, <clears throat> a couple of things I wanted to talk about was, um, remember I did the uh, reading on the rapper DMX? If you don't know who he was, he was huge. Uh, in the 90s uh, icon actually well they finally pulled the plug on him they did a brain uh, activity test on him on Wednesday did a brain activity test on him and he had no activity so I remember when I did the reading in his environment was the fool card and the fool card said that he was ready to take a leap of faith and go in a different journey and he wanted to go so I know that doesn't bring any consolation to the family, but I just wanted to mention that. Um, also, oh, I am just starting a podcast. It is on, hold on, let me see. I'm starting a podcast. Um, I will have the link in the description so you can check it out. It's going to be really, really fantastic. Um, my first one will be next Monday. We'll do it on Monday and Wednesdays. On Mondays, it will be talking about things that are important to me and I hope to you, um, primarily spiritual matters and where are we from, why are we here, spiritual traumas, how to heal, um, uh, numerology, tarot. And then on Wednesday, every Wednesday, I'm going to pick some people who drop in the email, in this comment or can email me out. My email address will be in the description as well as the link to the podcast. It'll be in the description um, and uh, I will answer your question. One question, please. Um, and I don't read on death, excuse me, illnesses. I really don't. I did see that on the wrapper just because I wanted to, but as a rule, <coughs> excuse me, guys, I don't read on health issues. So please don't ask me anything like that. But any other question that you have, um, Email me with that question, and then I will be answering some questions. Um, and it'll be one question. There's no charge. It's absolutely free. And we'll answer the question, and we'll break it down for you so we can understand. And um, I'll use your first name, not your email address, no last name, just uh, your question. So email me with one question, and every Wednesday I will be answering those questions uh, on the podcast, and Monday will be the discussion part. Now, how to find the podcast, um, I think it is Bling Sprout. I'm not really sure, honestly, but it'll be in the description. Camille will put it in the description. Click on that On starting on this Monday, April 12th. I'm super duper excited for the podcast and to be able to answer your questions. There's no charge. It's absolutely free and answer the question will be free. So be there or be square, as they say. And then lastly, we have Dr. Michael Lennox coming on Tuesday, April 13th. He's going to talk about all things astrology, uh, the universe, the direction the planet is going, what's happening in our world right now, what's happening for you with your particular birth sign, what is the most important sign, what are the big threes in your natal chart. So that will be fun. That's going to be live, and that will be Tuesday, April 13th. And that will be at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, my time, and 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And then you guys fill in the blanks for the in-between time. So please be there. If you have a question, please drop it in this video or in, um, in the box up above. In the community, I have a, uh, a little poster in there telling you about Dr. Michael Lennon's coming. Drop your question in there about astrology, your sign, anything that you want to know, and we will get to those questions as well. So don't forget the podcast starts next Monday. Go click on the link, 
You can come to it. You can subscribe. It's absolutely free. Free. It's great to just sit and play that and do what you do every day and listen to that. As well as on Wednesdays, I'll always be answering questions for people who send them in to me. I'll try to get as many questions as I answer, many questions as I get. So anyways, on to today's reading. And I just wanted to look at the uh, migrant children. There seems to be more children coming more than ever. And um, I want to know, are they, they seem to be coming by themselves. Is that right? So I want to see what is going on around them. Um, what is Biden going to do about this? Are they going to be allowed to come in? Are their parents sending them on their own? So I'm just curious about what is going on with the migrant children. So let me just invoke my cards. So now, let me see, what's going around with the children? Last night, I found a great book. It is a, actually like an antique book, and it's about the way that um, people uh, looked at Tarot way, way back. It is absolutely fascinating. Um, the languaging is pretty archaic compared to the way we use English now. It's closer like to, to old English or English from the UK, uh, but it's just absolutely fascinating. But when I do my, uh, my Tarot class, you'll be able to learn more about that. There's things I did not even know. And one more. So right now I'm feeling like they're coming, um, but not necessarily that the children want to come. It's the parents. It's the parents' idea. And so I put out some cards, and the first thing I got was the Ace of Wands. Energy, action. They, are, they want a brand new start. They want to have the opportunity that they feel that Americans have. I think they look at America like America from TV or something, but yeah, they want this brand new start. They want to grab the, the, the bull by the horns. You can see how potent this wand is. First of all, it's very masculine. It's very potent. It is being grasped very firmly, and they feel this is their opportunity. They've got this rid of this Trump situation, and now they've got the opportunity to come out here and to make something different for, them, for themselves. And they are willing to take the chance. This is just the beginning for them. Uh, Ace's big changes that come in your life, but it's just the beginning of big changes and they are ready for it. And then we've got the world card. The world card is a fantastic card. It says that they want to end the life that they used to live. They're ready to end that. They've lived that life. They know that life. They know their culture and foods and family and everything. And the world is about endings, but it's also about new beginnings. So very, they're very excited. The um, angel in the card, the figure in the card, it's male and female, by the way, is um, she's dancing. She's dancing with joy. She's got two wands. She feels like I can make anything happen for myself. Each of the, um, the symbols in the corner, we've got the uh, eagle, which represents Scorpio. We've got the... Um, this is like really the water barrier for Aquarius. We've got the bull for Taurus. We've got the lion for uh, Leo. And those are all fixed signs, stable. They're ready to come and stay. They don't want to come and change and go back. They're ready to start brand new and take a chance and find success and victory here like none other. Because of this, poverty. Because of the poverty they experience in their life, they are willing to start this brand new life and they've got the energy to make it happen. Isn't that incredible how the Tarot works when you can read the Tarot? You know, it just will tell you everything. And so they are ready to come here and get a brand new start. 
They don't want to be left out of the cold anymore. They're behind in so many aspects of life and primarily because of finances. It is, you think that we have people that hoard more than 1%, but theirs is even worse. You know, if it can be possible, it is worse. And so they're so used to barely getting by and being out in the cold in the world, not just uh, you know, we're out in the cold in Mexico or in Central America or South America, but we're out in the cold of the world and they're ready to start something brand new and they really want to take a chance. I want to see though, and then that is fantastic. I think that's wonderful and that they should. Is Biden going to make a way for them? Is Biden going to allow? migrants to come into the United States. <clears throat> and I guess I, I mean like open the open the floodgates is guess what I'm saying. My camera keeps cutting me partly down the stand is up kind of high but we're gonna make do with it. So I'm going to Uh, you know what? So we have justice for him. So that's government. This is legal issues. This is governmental issues. And he is trying to make a decision. He wants to give out and thus get good return because it's cause and effect. He understands that. But he also knows that he's got to strike a balance. Okay. He has to strike a balance. He has to use discernment and wisdom. That's what the swords indicates. We have to have a balance. We can't just open up the floodgates wide open. So we have the nine of wands. It says that um, we have to still defend our borders, okay? We still have the border up here. You can see the border is right there. We still have to defend our borders. We still can't just let everybody come in, even though we know that these people are struggling and that everyone is a human and we're all connected. He gets all of that in a way that you probably don't. This is a Scorpio man. His emotions run deep. His emotions are guarded because they run so deep. He has a heart for people. So he definitely cares about helping people. Definitely knows about helping people and being there, but he also knows that there's just so much I can do. There's just so much I have to do. And in fact, he's going to have to probably take it to the Supreme Court to have some of his way. But we can't, he feels like we can't let everybody in. I get it. You know, we just can't let everybody in, I suppose. I don't know. And in a lot of ways, his hands are tied. The Eight of Swords tells us in his mind, he's conflicted. You know, on one hand, he wants to move forward and he wants these children, these adults to come in. He does. But like I said, he's got to be level-handed. He knows that he can't just always operate out of emotions, okay? That he's going to have to be balanced his emotions and his feelings with his intellect so that we as American citizens don't feel a way because he doesn't just represent Democrats or liberals or what have you. He Democrat he he's the president of everybody. And so the backlash would be incredible. So he knows that his hands are tied in a lot that he wants to do. Um so I think he's going to be working at it. I think that he is going to allow more in than before, but I don't see him up opening up the floodgates. I don't think he can even legally do that. That's why the justice is there. And then I just want to see, are these parents, are, they, are these just children that parents are sending? Are these parents just sending their children? I have one that jumped out. Are parents just sending the children? You know, I get it though. I get it as a parent and a grandparent. And pretty soon I, I'll be in the great grandparent zone. I have grandkids old, as old as that. Um, yeah. Uh, 
you want best for your children. At least I always have. And any woman that I know has children has that same min mindset that we got this far. We want them to go this far. And this is their opportunity. And so here we have the Six of Cups. That's the card that jumped out when I asked about our parents sending their children. They are. They are sending their children. This is about sentimentality and a lot of emotions. And this is a Six of Cups, okay? So this is about, I want you to do better than I did. I want you to learn to be able to be reliable and responsible and depend on yourself. And I'm being the good parent by sending you. So they are sending the children uh, by themselves. This is a gift of love that they feel that they are giving their children that says, here you go and you take this opportunity. Uh, maybe they'll be part of the DACA's. I don't know. But the children, um, I don't know. They feel conflicted. Okay, this is a four cups in reverse. <clears throat> it's as if the families are not taking the time to think this through or meditate on this. It's because their emotions, this is an emotional people, by the way, their emotions are flooding them that says, even though I'm going to miss you, even though I love you, I'm acting emotional and I'm sending you on your way. I'm sending you on the way because you'll have a better opportunity than what I could give you. Cups are about love and happiness and that's what they want. They want, they love their children enough to want them to be happy, to have better than what they have. The thing though about children, just being a long time t teacher is that your child will love you no matter what. You can be poor as poor, you can be abusive, you can be wonderful, all of that. Your child is gonna love you anyways, but they're not looking at it like that. They're looking at, I wanna give you something. Um, and then we've got the five of wands saying that um, this is not a hard decision. This is a conflicted decision that the parents are making. They are, they're wrestling in themselves. They're bickering amongst themselves. They're wrestling in their mind. This is uh, something that it's not like, it's a five, so that a five energy comes chaotic and confusing and you know, there's all that, the fact of sending them and who are we sending them to and yada, yada, yada. You got that aspect of it. And then what if they don't make it or what if they don't get in? But then it's also, I love you enough to do this, but I just don't know but I'm willing to take the chance. So that's a tough decision. And I, I thank God that the majority of us, we don't have to make that decision and we are, we're here. And so there's that. So the parents are allowing them to come. Um, they're offering them something wonderful. And Biden wants to allow them in. He, he, if he had the way, he'd open the gates for everybody, but he can't do that. Legally, he can't do that. He's going to look to the Supreme Court because I don't think he's going to get as much support as he wants to have in this. But he's going to be working on it and getting something passed or worked on or what have you. But anyways, guys, that's what I have for you today. Don't forget, next Monday starts the podcast. The link will be in the description. Um, it will be up. We'll always put it up the night before. So it'll be up when you first thing in the morning when you get up. And then um, on Mondays, it'll just be conversation about what's going on in the world, about uh, spirituality, about whatever. And then uh, Wednesday, it'll be your day to send me a question. Don't forget to send me a question, one question, and I will read for you on the podcast. And then Tuesday, that's April 12th, Monday, Tuesday, April 13th, Dr. Michael Lennox will be there at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there, be square. Any questions for Dr. Lennox, please leave them in the link, in the community, or in this particular video. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.